Hello, this is Dr. Nikki. I'm really excited to be here with you today. I'm sharing my new book, Math Workshop in Action. It's out and available. What I did in this book was I tried to put together a book about math workshop. And so every chapter kind of details different elements of the workshop. So um, I'm going to give you an overview in this video and then each uh, following video will be about a chapter. So in general, there are 10 chapters in this book. Um, the first chapter is about creating a community of learners because I think that's really important. When you're, the, the most important thing about workshop is that you have kids that want to learn together. You want a community of children that know how to work together and so the first chapter talks all about that. The second chapter is about living and learning in a mathematically rich space. That's really important because the, the environment that you create should be uh, mathematically rich. It should be dripping with math, as we say about literacy. Um, it should be balanced in terms of you should have math posters up and literacy posters up. Um, and so I talk about that in a mathematically rich space. I also talk about the classroom as your first toolbox, that you want a classroom that um, is rich in resources for kids. You want uh, kids to be able to look up and see anchor charts that support their thinking. You want um, the tools that they use to be big in class size. So like you might have a large hundreds grid, a large uh, number line that they can walk on. And I, I'm not just talking about a whole number line. You need to have fraction number lines and you need to have decimal number lines that kids can actually make sense of. The third chapter is about managing the workshop because I think that's really important. If you can't manage the workshop, then, you know, you, it just, you can't do the workshop. So management is really important. And then four and five both talk about the opening. Um, one chapter is kind of just about the general opening, the calendar routines and so forth. And then the other chapter kind of takes us a deep dive into mini lessons because mini lessons, people struggle with those in the kinds and types of, um, that there are. And then um, the sixth chapter is math workstations and the seventh chapter is guided math groups. The eighth chapter is about the share. The share is often kind of the forgotten part of math workshop people do it sometimes they don't do it others share is really important and I devoted a whole chapter to it and then I talk about assessment balanced assessment looking at how do we do both formative and summative assessment in our classrooms and then finally there's an action planning guide at the end of the book so I hope that you have fun reading it and that it that you get a lot of information from it I tried to put a lot of things in there so that you can have a smooth running math workshop Thank you. Happy mathing. Mm -hmm.